Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck and Pioneer. Today we're looking at Blue White and Soul. Blue White and Soul is an artifact based aggro deck similar to Modern Affinity that leans on a number of artifact matter cards, notably in Soul Artifact. In Soul Artifact turns any artifact into a 5 5 beater for only 2 mana. This can be further leveraged with various cards in the deck by stacking their attributes on top of in Souls. Darksteel Citadel will remain indestructible and is also immune to any removal that specifies a non land target. Ornithopter retains flying, and Ginger Brute can make itself mostly unblockable. The plus one counters from Stone Coil Serpent and Patchwork Automaton remain, making the ensouled creature even bigger. Automaton also maintains Ward, making it harder to kill. The Black Staff of Waterdeep is a similar card which, while it costs more and makes the creature only a 4-4, can be activated again if the creature dies, turning every artifact in the deck into a potential threat. This becomes more valuable as games go long, making otherwise dead late game cards like Springleaf Drum useful. Ghostfire Blade serves a similar function, enhancing the power of the deck's smaller creatures. The deck's other big beaters include Ingenious Smith and Patchwork Automaton, which grow with each new artifact. Michiho's Reign of Truth pumps creatures and then becomes a big threat itself. Other cards in the deck include Portable Hole for removal, Springleaf Drum for faster starts, Shadow Spear to win damage races, and Mutavolt as a land that's also a threat. Sideboarding and Weaknesses like Affinity, Blue White and Soul requires a critical mass of resources for Smith, Automaton, and Michiko. In Soul targets are also potentially vulnerable. This makes the deck weak to strategies that employ lots of cheap removal. The sideboard is mostly about having answers such as removal, counter spells, and graveyard hate. Some potential grindy midrange threats to combat the removal heavy decks are Tezzeret or the Antiquities War. Tips and Tricks Stonecoil Serpent scales up as the game continues. You can play it early to use with Springleaf Drum, Ghostfire Blade, and Soul Artifact, or to pump Smith or Automaton, or later as a big beater. It's also easy to forget its keyword soup of Reach, Trample, and Pro Multicolor. Although Mutavault isn't an artifact, it is colorless, meaning Ghostfire Blade attaches to it at a discount. Conversely, colored artifacts like Portable Hole that have been animated by Soul or Blackstaff won't get the discount. Although Blue White and Soul is an aggro deck, it can nevertheless be correct to transform Ginger Brute into a food token to win races against other aggro decks. The food token is also a way to trigger Ingenious Smith, not Automaton though since it has a cast trigger. Play Springleaf Drum before the creature you're going to tap it with so your opponent won't have a window to kill it first. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Blue White and Soul. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.